Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna help you win more points when going to the net by remembering to split step. And I'm gonna give you a simple drill to help you practice it. So I've got a bucket of balls, I've got some cones. These two cones are where I'm gonna split step. The cones on the other side of the net are actually the angled volleys that I'm going to attempt. And I've got a bucket of balls here where I'm gonna self-feed some shots. So if I hit an approach shot to the right corner of the court, whenever you go forward to the net, you wanna follow your shot. It's what I call shadowing, like you're gonna follow the ball wherever it goes. So if I hit the ball to the right, then I'm going to follow it to the right. And I wanna split step as my opponent is hitting the ball. Specifically, you wanna be in the air, actually, as your opponent hits. But you wanna split step as your opponent is hitting the ball. You wanna also face your opponent. You don't wanna be facing forward and your opponent's over there. You wanna have your body turned towards your opponent. But you wanna split step and you wanna be bisecting the down the line and the cross court passing shot. If I come up the, the very middle and my opponent's over there, I'm covering too much of the cross court and I'm leaving the down the line wide open. When you draw it on a piece of paper, you can see how I'm actually bisecting where my opponent is hitting cross court and down the line by being on this side. If I had hit the approach shot to this corner, then I'm coming to here. Now, these cones are in the service box on the other side of the net and they're short angled, right? So if I come here, right, I hit the approach shot to the right corner, I split step as my opponent hits. Let's say they try a down the line passing shot. Well, I'm gonna hit short into that service box and my goal is to hit the ball short and make it leave the court using the sideline. And I can do the same thing with my backhand volley. I'm gonna aim that direction. I can hit it away from my opponent and I'm just gonna win the point by hitting it off the court. So I'm just gonna get my bucket of balls. I'm gonna grab two tennis, tennis balls. I'm gonna hit an approach shot and a volley. So I'll follow my shot up to the left. I'm gonna split and then self-feed a volley into the open court. Approach to the right, split, we'll do a volley. Little things like this make a world of difference, drills like this. I'm hitting two shots right now, but there's three ideas I have to remember. There's the shot itself, well, can I hit it in? There we go. There's the shot itself, there's the split step, and then there's the volley. Think of the shots as bricks, and think of the split step as the mortar between the bricks. If you don't have mortar, you know, the stuff that goes between the bricks, then don't start building a brick house if you don't have the mortar, right? So people think of it as, oh, in order to go to the net, you need an approach shot and you need a volley. No, you need an approach shot, a split step, and a volley. Just like the bricks are brick, mortar, brick. There's that little space in between that is just as important as the bricks themselves. You can do this with a backhand. I'll hit a slice approach shot up the line. I split and then I'll self-feed a volley into the open court. Understanding that going to the net doesn't have to be scary, but hitting the approach and split stepping to be able to change direction and knock off the volley, it just makes a world of difference in your ability to win points going to the net. Look, you can't beat the opponents you're struggling with currently by staying behind the baseline all day. You've got to start coming forward. And many players struggle, most players in my opinion, who struggle coming to the net, they do so because they're not split stepping. No different than somebody struggling to make sharp turns in their car because they're not tapping the brakes. You gotta slow down to make sharp turns. And if you're someone, and I read in the comment section of a, of a couple days ago, and I put up a video about going to the net, someone said, I don't like going forward because I hate getting lobbed. Players who go forward and hate getting lobbed is because they're running forward and they watch the lob go up over their head. You need to be stationary as your opponent hits. Don't be running as your opponent hits. What if you're running in the wrong direction? So hit the approach shot to the corner, and then as they hit, you wanna be stationary. That way, if they hit the ball over your head, you can go back and hit an overhead. Learn to split step, and just do a simple drill like this, where you hit the approach shot to a corner, you follow it up, you practice a split step, and then you can self-feed a ball into the open court. Learn to go forward, 
and make sure you nail that split step. And if you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.